Sunday blessings, Sunday blessings, and Sunday blessings. You know what I'm going to say. If you're watching this program, you have already received a wonderful blessing from the Lord because He has once again given you the breath of life. Today, this is an important one. This is actually something that can change or restart your life again. It's going to come from Romans chapter 15 verse 13 and the name of this one is keep your joy no matter what keep your joy may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope Paul wrote be full of joy in the Lord always. I will say again, be full of joy. Let everyone see that you are gentle and kind, full of joy. There are things like sickness, depression, addiction, loneliness, divorce, financial problems that try to take our joy. Sometimes these negative problems just don't go away. So what do we do? Romans 15 and 13 says, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. Stay in faith. Focus on the good. Focus on God who can and will give us peace, which surpasses all. Jesus himself was a joyful person, and to his disciples he said, These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. Joy is a fruit of the Spirit, comforting, content, content and full of peace comforting content and full of peace no matter what is going on with us or around us i want to leave you with 10 things that are principles of joy joy is something god can restore don't miss that one joy is found in god's presence joy is the result of righteousness Joy is found in delighting in God's word. Joy is the result of speaking with wisdom. Joy is produced by righteous hope. Joy is found in answered prayers. Joy is produced by the Holy Spirit. Joy fills our heart as we remember the good things God has done and through the people he has placed in our lives. And number 10, joy comes when we trust in the Lord. God has all power. So remember, going back to number one, if we have lost our joy, God can restore our joy. So let's remain in God's presence and let's keep our joy no matter what is going on around us. Ask God to restore your joy no matter what. Powerful blessings coming. Write some things down that give you joy. And then meditate on those things and stay in God's word and stay in God's presence. Keep your joy no matter what. Be blessed. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Keep your joy.